It was early at Stony Brook, but fans were lined up outside the sack Saturday morning to board buses and head off to Boston for the America East Championship. It was the Seawolves that came out hot as Dave Coley knocks in the three midway through the first, giving Stony Brook a 12-point lead. The Terriers would come back. With under a minute left to go in the first, Jeff Pelagi gets the big one-handed putback, cutting the Stony Brook lead to four. On the next possession, Dewar would answer, hitting his three to send the Seawolves up seven at the half. Early in the second, the Seawolves would build another lead. Here, Chris Martin drives to the lane for the bucket and a 15-point Stony Brook lead, their biggest of the night. It would shrink from there thanks to player of the year John Holland who took over the layup, another lay-in, beyond the arc, the fancy lay-in, and then the steal, and if you did the math, Boston's now only down by four. And with over a minute to go, it was Holland tying the game at the line, 54 all. And a questionable call to end it. With time running out, Holland drives and draws the foul. Many thought a travel should have been called, but it never happened. Holland nailed both shots from the line, putting the Terriers up 56-54. Dewar would have a half-court heave to win it, but it wasn't to be. They stormed the court in Boston, and the Terriers danced for the first time since 2002. Coach Steve Peichel talks after the game about the season and the call at the end of the game. We'll, we'll, we'll be back, I promise you that, and, and the next time we'll come with some experience and maybe it won't be a travel call, maybe it'll be a foul for us and we'll go to the foul line. So I'm confident of that, appreciate everyone coming out.